Nothing to fear. It's a masterpiece. I'm to be congratulated. You? For making him write it. Oh, of course. It's a masterpiece, I say. They will cheer every word, every letter. I wish I felt that way. I believe I can put it better. Now then, attend as friend to friend our declaration committee. For us, I see immortality in Philadelphia City. A farmer, a lawyer, and a sage. A bit gouty in the leg. You know, it's quite bizarre to think that here we are playing midwives to an egg. Egg? What egg? America, the birth of a new nation. If only we could be sure of what kind of a bird it's going to be. Tom has a point. What sort of bird shall we choose as the symbol of our new America? The eagle. The dove. The turkey. The eagle. The dove. The eagle. The eagle. The turkey. The eagle is a majestic bird. The eagle is a scavenger, a thief, and a coward. A symbol of over 10 centuries of European mischief. The turkey. The turkey is a truly noble bird. Native American, source of sustenance of our original settlers. An incredibly brave fellow who will not flinch at attacking a regiment of Englishmen, single-handedly. Therefore, the national bird of America is going to be... The Eagle. The Eagle. We're waiting for the chirp, chirp, chirp of an eaglet being born. Waiting for the chirp, chirp, chirp on this humid Monday morning in this congressional incubator. God knows the temperature's hot enough to hatch a stone, let alone an egg. We're waiting for the scratch, scratch, scratch of that tiny little fellow. Waiting for the egg to hatch on this humid Monday morning in this congressional incubator. God knows the temperature's hot enough to hatch a stone. But will it hatch an egg? The declaration will be a triumph. I tell you, a triumph. If I was ever sure of anything, I'm sure of that. A triumph. And if it isn't, we've still got four days left to think of something else. The eagle's going to crack the shell of the egg that England laid. Yes, so we can tell, tell, tell on this humid Monday morning in this Congressional incubator. And just as Tom here has written, though the shell may belong to Great Britain, the eagle inside belongs to us. And just as Tom here has written, we say to hell with Great Britain, the eagle inside. Belongs